Good morning, TikTokers. It's all fresh and well this Saturday morning. That means one thing and one thing only. The weekend has landed. Yeah. So welcome to the deadline for game week. No. Yeah, so it's great to see the Premier League back. After two week after two week after two weeks. Yeah, so if you have any questions, uh, have you played your wild card? Are you playing your wild card this game week? Or have you played any other chips in this game week? Of course, I played the wild card in the last um, game week before the international break as, as, as well. So, um, of course, um, last night I made one transfer. Well, I had one free transfer. I got, as you can see, I got James Madison a place of um, Avalon of Newcastle. Are you going to Sligo? Uh, no. No. No, I'm not going to Sligo, Sean. But, the la- but they need to win tonight. They can't afford to draw another game. But it, it is what it is. So, um, my team at the moment, don't forget to uh, lock in your team by, ele- by 11 o'clock this morning. So my team at the moment is Pope and Go. Uh, defense, um, Silma, Cancelo, Trippiet. Uh, field, my vice captain, who I got in. Uh, Madison, uh, War uh, Prowse, Martelli, uh, Foden. Up front, I have Harry Kane, Mitrovic, and my captain, Haaland. And um, my subs is Ederson, Andres Pereira, Nico Waves, and of course, who's injured for the next four to five weeks, Patterson. Yeah. Uh, can't you wish my mate a happy birthday? Oh, you be the were oh, you be the rover spare. Uh, happy happy birthday! I hope hope you get a victory to to tonight. Um, Henderson and Martinez. Oh, that's a difficult one. That's a that's a difficult one, mate. I'm just gonna check. I'm bowling. Jesus! Next weekend they're actually against each other. Uh, next weekend. But uh, I would have to say neither. To 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 be honest with you, because uh, Forest are starting to concede goals now. Villa they picked up with their first clean sheet. The last um game week gets uh Southampton. So I'm actually going to check. Just bear with me. So Aston Villa. So they got Leeds away, Nottingham Forest away, Chelsea at home, Fulham away, uh, Brentford at home. They're not easy games. They're tough for Villa. Gonna go, go to check on um, Henderson for Ferris. He's got Leicester away on Monday, Bill at home, Wolves away, Brighton away. Uh, I have Peter. Haaland is going to blank King Francis. I, I, I'm I'm not the king. I'm not the king. I think he will score. I think he will score against United, and he's on um, and he's on penalties as well. 
It'll be a tough afternoon for us tomorrow. Against 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 City, to be honest with you, because City they they scored every game this season. So have and so have Arsenal. So have Arsenal. Touch on Wolves. Right. Right back ice. Uh to be fair to be fair I won't go for a Wolves player. To, to, to be, be fair, cause um Bob said no Sada. Correct, no Sada. Because um, he's got tough fixtures coming up. And he's uh, uh, by my rights he hasn't scored at Anfield this season. I could be wrong. By my right, Salah hasn't scored at Anfield this season. By my right. Has he scored at Anfield? No. No, 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 no. He hasn't scored at Anfield this season. Has Sada. Uh, but I won't go for Wolves players, to be honest with you. Maybe a defence, but... I, I, won't, I won't get them at all. To be fair, Wolves, they don't score enough goals. To be fair, which is which is not good. But check their fixtures. They got. I know they got West Ham away. Wolves, Wolves have no strikers because they're injured and uh, cost us uh, less than match less than match fitness. Yeah, I will go for a Wolves player, to be honest with you. Probably on to game week 11. Because uh, next weekend, they got Chelsea away. And look and look, that's, look that, how, how that's turning out. And of course, as you know, oh, um, uh, Potter is the new Chelsea manager. As you know, and um, and of course, Brighton have a new manager as well. I think he's that. I think he's that Italian. Y- y- yeah, yeah. Which is which is um hard, hard, hard. It's hard, it's going to be hard, hard to call with Brighton after such a good start to the season. They're fourth. They're fourth going into this weekend, but. They're not going. They're not. Uh, they're not going to be fought for long. They will lose more plays this weekend. But they did go. They did get a good point away. Um, Liverpool last season, but that's not. That's not going to happen this year. To be honest with you, really isn't. Yeah, and to, and tomorrow in the Manchester Derby, I predicted. Man City will be us three 0 tomorrow. Cause um our squad, well, our defense has improved a little bit, but uh, but our squad is kind of a bit. It's kind of a bit old at the at the moment. How's Francis? Oh, no, not not too bad. Couldn't, couldn't sleep last night. Because uh, I've been having problems with the back of my legs. Yeah. Get Mark Travers in. No. He's not a regular starter anymore for Bournemouth. 
Um, because uh, he's now second choice keeper now for Bournemouth. I would never get with Mark Travers. No way, Jose. Yeah. There's, there's rumours that Lloris might not be playing against Arsenal today. Well, but you never know. Anything, anything could happen. Pro- prove wrong, like. As well. As well. Yeah. I heard he's starting striker because Selanke born 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 his his skins. I'm not listening to him, I like chicken roll. Oh, I don't know that word, to, to be fair. Um, word, sports. Oh, what do you call it? Oh, oh. Oh, pres- oh not presenter, not presenter. Oh, I don't know that word. Heard of it, but never. I don't think I've never seen it before. Ever. I'm oh, trying to fake now. Hello again, everyone. Ariel Hawani here for another. Trying to fake now. Brendan Johnson. Or Santa Johnson. or something like that. I don't think so. I know it's. I know it's wrong. When he is probably my preference. I think he's the better goal scorer, but. Predict. Predictor, yeah, ever. To be fair, Man United's best player this season has to be Ericsson. To be, to be honest with you. Yeah, of course. Um, Kukurela's not playing this weekend because um, he's ill. Would you believe it or not? And that's a tough game for Chelsea, by the way. Palace away. Would you believe it or not? This weekend. Mason Greenwood is in the squad against Man City. I don't believe. I don't believe that for a second, me. Until 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 tomorrow, if it's rumours or not, he won't be starting anyway. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. He's wasted his talent. He's back in FPL. Is first choice, and oh, just I have to say to believe it. Probably Paris, Chicago could be a double getter. Probably Paris, uh, those three. When you take a minus four to replace Isak and avoid playing Andreas, I have double Newcastle defense and playing Mitchell Jarelli. If the minus four is to Tony, then I think it's worthwhile. I'm checking it now. We had good long term fixtures, and I think it's about to see it to believe it. I have to say to believe it. I have to say it to I believe it. Play too far. Um, I think the clean sheet is quite likely. Uh, it could be a nil nil. If anything, if there's any game that's a nil nil this week, I think it's Wolves West Ham. Yeah. Um, that's what you can see there. I, I actually know, went for a one nil West Ham, I think. To be fair, on Super Bowl. Three, Don't really bear the buggies, so I just go. This thing. Uh, oh, what do you call it? Yes. The internet, something like that. Something like that. It's just a far better option. Just any solid midfielder for 6.2 or less. Let's see. You'll so probably look at Pascal Gross and potentially say Maximan if he still is 6.2, by the way. Kazaki Pizarra this week. This week it'd be Isaac to Solanke. But the, in the long term, Kazaki Pizarra is. No. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, um, Greenwood's not in. Uh, FPL. I just checked. And he's not in FPL. 
Sorry. He's not in a PL. That's why I don't believe. That's why I don't believe. It, in it, like I think I've got to check the scores for the predictions. Someone like Salah and for Kevin De Bruyne, so that's completely understandable. But I would do Andreas and Farid, and I would also go for Zaha of in for Bowen, and also that helps you get the, the money predictions in the bank to get Salah and for Kevin De Bruyne. More Solanke. I go for Solanke of those two. Just want to check. Not a huge fan of either. So I went for two one. Arsenal. I can't say that with confidence. And one other three Barnett and Brentford. Even if he's fit now, when one other three Palace and Chelsea. Um, your team could have enough, to be honest. Um, I'm actually going to change that score, to be honest with you. Perisic, I'm not too sure about him this week, but he's a good option long term. And I will change that get score. Medicine, I think in the weeks to come. Um, and you've also got Walker. You. Oh no, you've got Allen there. So you've got tripped up in City, and you've got two Arsenal players. Unless I'm missing someone, yeah. So. And probably walk in the weeks to come. Yeah, what else? Yeah, so I predicted actually. 2 1 Newcastle. If he comes on as a substitute. Uh, but otherwise, if he starts, I'd back West Ham uh, more so to get a clean sheet than Chelsea this week. Is Madison a shot for the captaincy? Yes, he is. Heritage of Trippier on the wild card. Trippier. Uh, thoughts on this team, please, says Mark. Defensively, and until I've seen improvement, I wouldn't go for Justin personally. As for Bowen, so uh, so I went for two one Newcastle just now. I just don't trust Bowen. Two one Liverpool. Two one Southampton against Everton. One 0 West Ham. Three 0 Man City against Man United. Even though I support Man United, but Man City will score. Um, so that could be an issue, but. Really well, for one other three in Leeds and Villa, I, I can't separate them. Like two one Leicester against Paris on Monday. So not that many clean sheets. Just two. <laughs> Just two. This week, this week, as everyone is not watching him. So consistent and yeah, so he's on penalties, especially when uh, did, you just, did you just destroy your break anyway? Um, two weeks ago, of course, I'm not going to take a minus four just yet. It's, it's early days. I mean, I'm at the moment, I'm not that nervous. Um, and Maybe it kind of stems to the home advantage that these teams have in the derbies. Um, typically, you would expect Arsenal to win, but of course, if you look at the the gap between the two teams, they're pretty much very similar. Yeah, it's actually very close, close to the table with trade them. Arsenal, Tottenham. If, if Tottenham win, they go top. Today, I still think Arsenal have a good chance of winning the game. It just depends. But Arsenal are, are playing well this year. This this season really was a result of to be honest with you. The high line in moments where they didn't need to. Course, what else? Uh, Champions League is back during the week as well. Recommend spending that much money on a Leicester asset, and you've got Madison, you know, for around seven point nine million, and not on doing. He's actually eight million now. So I would rather go for them. Um, it's uh, Madison. He's got good fixtures coming up. But of course, this pre- but of, co- of course, uh, the last game week, Son, who didn't start, scored a hat trick in the last game week. But that's that's not going to happen then. Um, every week, because the Premier League is more tougher than than every season. Yeah, we Of course, news already is football London. To be fair. My team, it's it's okay. Yeah, so, Not yeah, brilliant. So All right, so there you go. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think either. So we'll be starting. Against Paris. Um, Monday. But you never know. Anything can happen. So yeah, it's all for clout. Dick Pope, he might not keep a clean sheet, but 
He does, he does, he, get, he does get a lot of save points. I wouldn't do that though. Um, if you have Pope as well, you don't necessarily need that double up, but maybe you don't have him. So in that case, that's fine. But I would still go for Tillman. 8.8 million, Madison. And if not, you've got Zaha as well for the long term. Sanchez, Raya or Gaeta? I'd go for Gaeta from those three. West Ham will explode tonight. I have a feeling Bowen and Antonio will show up. It's possible, but... It's possible, but they strong. haven't impressed me this yeah, season, West Ham. So far this season. Yeah, really to be honest with you. Game, but, yeah, I think we'll... Just got a sec. Is he live, yeah? Oh, he's gone live in five minutes, is um, Andy? He's actually, he's actually playing his wild card uh, th- uh, this week. Is let's talk FPL. Yeah, of course. Uh, the situation on my um team. Just a shame that um Patterson got injured. Yeah, I would have got rid of him and placed him Simicast, but um Simicast is not a regular star. Like I like I have Simicast in the other fancy um uh, Real Viva. I have him on that. But it's, uh... it's hard. But but what can you do? He's not a regular star. For never who want to, Robinson comes back. Jesus, Robinson's price has dropped really bad th- this season. Uh, well, it's, uh, Salah drop, dropped in price last night. He's uh, 12.8 now. Yeah. Andreas. Oh. You mean you mean gross, is it? Um, per, uh, he's cheap. He's cheap. I think he's four point five, four point six, something like that. I would, I would still keep him. I think Fulham fixtures look good. I think I will check anyway. Fulham fixtures now. How I, I, I have both. But I don't know who do I play. Um, probably play Pereira because I, can, I can't see, I can't see uh, Gross getting them. That, that, uh, that many big points for Brighton, to be honest with you. And Brighton's mixture, Sam. Uh, it's not good. Plus, as you know, uh, my uh, they have a new manager now. As you know, Brian have a new manager now. So it's got it's going to be tough for Brighton three now and a few uh, three now and a few weeks. It's going to it's going to take time for the new Brighton manager. Uh, it was a shame that Potter went and he did a good job at Brighton. But, of course, as you know, it's you have to move on. Now he's gone to a bigger, now he's gone to a bigger, better things. Hopefully, all but works out for him. Uh, uh, Chelsea, to, to be honest with you. Okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, so, um, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, West Ham away. Um, Born with a home in game week 11. Home to Aston Villa, game week 12. Uh, away to Leeds. Of course, don't forget the last time those two made each other away was the seven goal trailer. And they're home to Everton in game week 14. Got a tough one in game week 15, though. Way to Man City. Then the last game before the World Cup, a home to us. Pictures are good. 
to be honest with you. Hey, Paddy. Get your hands on top rounds. Have it all delivered to your What? Uh, wild card, you mean? No, no, I, um, I played my wild card in the last game weekend, buddy. He, he, he should be going live in the belt now. Here's Andy. Yeah, as well. Um, could be happy with me team at the moment. Hope oh, my new tomorrow. If you, uh, no matter what, it's gonna be a tough game for us tomorrow. No matter, no matter what, because our defense away is still not great. I take a draw, but it's not going to happen. How many times did City score against us last season? I think it was about six or seven. Last season, the two the two matches. Yeah, what else? And um, I like the team. Just gonna hope Mitch Bitch doesn't do well with that Newcastle. Mm. Newcastle um, trouble up, double up. Yeah, but this. We, there's rumours that uh, Mitrovic could have a what was it an ankle injury, but but I think I think he could be all right. But we see, we see when it gets at three o'clock today. If, if he gets injured, that will be a big part of him today. To be honest with you. On the other hand, Newcastle are hard team to beat. I think they've only lost what was it one game. But that was a bad, bad draw for them. The last game we got home against Barrett. That was really bad. Couldn't have lost. If Barrett had not conceded a penalty. The last game week. As, as, as well. Yeah, just a shame that Patterson's injured. Here he is. Yes, Andy. Oh, do a sec. What's your rank? Uh, overall, uh, I'm not going to tell you about my uh, rank um, at the moment, Paddy. Uh, but but I could tell you how many points I have at the moment. I have um, 396 points. It's a... I can't remember. Oh, no, no, no. 400 points, sorry. I have uh, 400 points at the moment. It's not too bad. It's not great, but uh, it's early days. I'm just taking it one game week at a time. To, uh, to be honest with you. Yeah, of course. Of course, you can't have everybody in your team this year. Yeah, which is uh, difficult. Uh, Tony or Madison? Oh, that's a that's a difficult question. That's a tough question. That, well, Leicester's got good pictures. Here he is. Welcome to the Gaming Nine Deadline Stream. FPL is finally back. It feels like it's taken forever because it literally has 
with the international break. I'm on wild card. The full team will be revealed. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, Andy's on his wild card. I'm going to check now for you, uh, Paddy. Um, I've been like worried about goalkeepers the whole international break, and I'm still not quite sure what to do. I think I'm going to be on Everton and War, but I just. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think if I was get on, it. it'd be a far, far point, point here. Know, but but uh, no, I'm not going to do that. To, you, to, to be, to be I fair. Use it, but I can. But I can. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm probably not going to do the, the award, no, unfortunately. But thank you if you did vote for me. <laughs> Just check. I did get sound at 12.8, yeah. He's got ball off away. away. He's got a tough, he's got a tough game away. Uh, Newcastle next weekend. Every single, I think pretty much every day during the international break, he had red arrows. Yesterday he had blue arrows and he went. He went uh, then again, we can never need to home to Brighton. Game week 12, he's got, like, he's got Chelsea at home. Game week 13, away to Villa, which he got his first goal, I think, last season. The Premier League. Home to Wolves and game week 14. Away to Forest in game week 15. Then he's got Man City away in game week 16. Which is a tough one. Before the World Cup. Of course, it was um, sad for him that he didn't get um, he didn't get game he did get game time for England. He didn't get game time for England. The last um, um, so so he'd be fresh anyway. If you do, happy days. Yeah, I'm not sure on wild card. Like yeah. it says in the ticker, I'm kind of between. Oh, 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 oh he's put Salah's captain. Just so you get that guaranteed back. Like wow. Ward, Guaita Ward. I, th- I think I'm more likely to go. Yeah, it's a Ward surprise that I don't have Salah. The Ray is in my mind now. So I don't. I don't really so care about uh, like Derry. But I know, I know no, they closed with the gap on us. All Rovers have to do is keep right? winning and, and keep drop, don't drop any more points. That's all I have to say. <clears throat> if we do drop points tonight, yeah, I think look, Kepa is interesting because I think De- I think Derry will out. slip up. They will get tired. But I could be wrong. Of course, we got more games than Derry in all competitions. Because we got that Europa Conference League. We have another four matches and Derry have another. They could have two extra matches with the cup, and 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 that, and, and that as well. They will they will be treaty and I at home. Solanke, Mitch, Rich, or Mo Pay. Oh, I think I think it has to be. Um, Probably. I kind of want to say to Lanky, but oh, I think you're probably you're don't get injuries. I actually have one injury at the moment. Well, it could be two. Simicat's worth it. The problem with Simicat is he may, he probably get, he's definitely, sorry, maybe, probably, definitely, he definitely is going to get this week by the looks of it because Robertson's out. He may or may not get Arsenal away, and then that's it, probably. Mm-hmm. Rugby and FPL, the great Arsenal to tweet. I forgot to tweet. Oh, he forgot to treat. This did Andy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hope James R. Proud scores against Everton because um, I don't like Captain Madison to be honest. Like, Madison, he hasn't scored since the first game of the season. Oh, uh, yeah, Tottenham. Well, he's on penalties as well for for Southampton. I don't know, like, I don't yeah, you never know. Anything could happen some yeah, weekends, like you, you, you have to, you have to take that risk as well, like. Chilwell, Cresswell. The thing is, I think there's a chance that Chilwell starts this week. I just don't know if he starts the rest of the weeks. I still, I still got a feeling he's not, not completely fit. But they're really no, managing him because not completely fit. Really I just, Chilwell just feels a little bit punny to me, um, and I, I think I'm less. I'm less open to a few punts because of like the bank and stuff is about to happen and we're going to have to manage. So probably Cresswell, but to be honest, if you're going to go West Ham, I'd probably just go Zuma for four point five. Yeah, minutes. that's all. That's all I have. Zuma. Thoughts on William as a fourth midfield player? Because you never know, he could score. He could score. 
from a corner. Today, <laughs> I'd be delighted if he scores from the corner today. Five point five million. We pay thirty and sixty-nine. I, I can't get yeah, that that that'd be really funny if Suma scores against Wolves today. He feels like he's been around forever. He's thirty-four now. Would he keep playing week in week out? Quite possibly. I just I'm not a big fan of him really. Kenzo plays Zaha or Andreas. I mean, I would definitely play Zaha. Like, honestly, I wouldn't even really have to think about that too much. Did I captain in my FIFA team? Oh, no, Did he captain in his FIFA team? Today. I'm so bad at FIFA. I'm like, that, yeah, I'm like myself. So That's why I don't play FIFA anymore. Yeah, I'm not saying this because it's a bad game. Because I don't have time to play FIFA anymore. For other things. I'm not about FIFA, the to be, do, to be doing like one, the other fancy. So what I do in different countries. Like fr- fr- French fantasy, um, Spanish, uh, Portugal, uh, what else? Serie A, Spain. I keep playing. I keep playing. I don't believe in scripts. Yeah, the championship and the other um, English fantasy, which is uh, it's the same as this, but kind of different. Of course, you can change your captain and that like as well. Which I like. Uh, uh, no, uh, Chelsea players, uh, that is correct. Because um, Chelsea being very poor this season. Chelsea being terrible this year. Okay, so about one of Andreas, Saka, Martelli, or Zaha? Andreas. Look, look, the thing with Andrea, Cause yeah, I, I could see, I could see uh, Crystal Palace I don't think we should be scoring not him. Like, I'm, today. I'm him. I, got, I mean, that's the least of my worries, is whether to play Andreas or not. <clears throat> the thing is, I've only got to play FIFA until the end of the uh, I, can't, I can't tell you that, Red. Uh, you should have watched my you should have watched my videos here uh, before. So so I, I can't tell you. Sorry about that. Wow. Like, yeah. He's not delaying the wild card till game week 13. Should I play Zaha or Justin? I'd probably play Zaha. I know he's playing Chelsea at home, but I kind of like, like Zaha today. You know? Yeah, I do like Saha, but I won't get him this. Uh, Kane, Bowen, and Pope. Can't have everybody. <laughs> Kane, Bowen, and Pope. Tony, Salah, and Salah. Like, Salah's got tough fixtures eight. anyway. He's got Arsenal away. No. Next, uh, next weekend. Salah, yes, uh, I mean, Tony's got Bournemouth. Uh, sorry, yeah, sorry. That's what you were bringing in. And who I'm else? I'm say, I don't like the Sam that, to be honest. Well, I think got, Pope's a got an okay fixture. Bowen's got a pretty good one. Uh, yes, I support Rovers, yeah, yes. I, I don't know if I can buy into a minus eight for that. Unless you really want to captain Salah, but if you've got Haaland, you can just captain him. I don't think I'd take a minus eight. No. Sinisera, Mopay, the French. That's why I don't want to take that many, many hits early on in the season. I want to save him. Okay, I'm sure. I do think from Maybe until after the World Cup. Fair, so you're really hoping that Sinisera does really well over the next four. And there's nothing to say that Martelli won't do well too. Decent. Yeah. Pay, I'm just not yeah, I will keep. Like, I will definitely is, keep all because um. Sure right now, I think during the week against Copenhagen, he won't start. Maybe give us the Champions League. There, but every chance that he just takes that shirt back, so I just I can't get there. Because they got they, they got an easy match against Copenhagen. Um, to, uh, to be honest, is you? No, bad. I, I, I can't help Hard it, I just don't know. Say, my, my current thought is, then I'm you 100% sure them. that Raya and Pickford and White it are is, but better than the double It, it is what it is. Goalkeeper. I know how bad they've been. I just don't know. At, the, mo- at the moment. Money. That's where I'm at right now. If I was going to go for Raya, I'd probably... The thing is, with Raya, you can probably get away with Everson because Raya is number one. He's not going to lose his shirt. Yeah. Um... You're left with probably the second choice Leicester goalkeeper. Yeah. I guess you're taking a bit of a risk there. Um, 
Drop Madison. Oh, it's, 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 it's the tough decision. If you need the money, I'd probably get Ray or oh, Anderson. I, I, money, I'd well, Madison's a good choice, but I, 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 I won't drop Foden, uh, to be honest, with you? I need a few players to do really well. I won't. Um, Kane, Harland, Harland, um, Harland, Harland, um, he will start against United because that's a big game. I know, but they've got better pictures now. They really but he will, he will get rotated um, during the week in the Champions League. Ultimately, they've had pretty bad pictures. Oh, I don't trust him. Though. I don't trust him. Oh, 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 I don't if you're getting, it depends when you're getting him back. It's the morning. Of course, sir, uh, just to let you know, game, game weekend, 12, um, um, Arsenal Man City against each other, uh, blanking. I don't really rate you. Would you believe it or not? So I will get rid of, it will be folded pretty soon. Where are we, game week nine? Um, so I'm going to be careful with my transfers. Could roll next week, who I mean, knows? This is template going forward, but I mean, it mostly is to be fair. But like Salah, is he? No, that's what I said. To you. He's, um, he hasn't, he hasn't he has scored at Anfield this season, he's only got um, two assists at Anfield, and that was um, against Newcastle. Bad. I guess the template can be bad. Um, he's better away. Kane, Harlan, Mitrovic, Diaz, and Sterling works. Uh, works for what? He can go. I'm not sure you, what you mean by works, though. So, Maximin or Rodrigo until game week 13 instead of a Marseille? Honestly, neither, right? So, Maximin's probably not even going to start this week. No. He's, he's an injury concern. He's so always an injury concern him. every year. He's not even start. Is uh, uh, Maximin a uh, good player? I hate to go back for all this again. There good player, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of Leeds fans that don't think Rodrigo is part of Leeds' best front four. They think it will be Bamford up front, Harrison as the number 10, and Harrison and Sinistera flanking, like, on, on, uh, like wide men. Wide so men. There's no guarantee that Rodrigo starts, so I would just go for Martinelli. Bamford's yeah, back, I, don't know what I would keep Martinelli. Kind of like Bamford as a punt. Because if he scores against uh, Tottenham, uh, wait, wait, today I'll be uh, true. Do could be loads Emerson of goals at that game, who knows? Well, Emerson might not even start, so definitely Cancelo. De Bruyne, Solanke, Saka, bench one. Now, you can't bench one of De Bruyne, Solanke, Saka. No. Thank you, but... One like that. Three weeks will start with Trent. Um, I'd probably start with Trent. It, it depends how you feel, right? Some people are wild card and they're booking in loads of transfers. Some people are wild card. It's perfectly fine, right? It's a great way to get extra points. I'm kind of setting my wild card up for less transfers, so I'm a bit more yeah. flexible. Sorry, I need to. What happens if uh, Pope sends a penalty today against Mitrovic? Oh, bad And Mitrovic well. scores on the rebound. That could happen. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not going for Bamford. I like him as a punt, but I just think I, I'd just be a little bit worried about his fitness. Essentially, that's, that's yeah. It. Bamford's been very unlucky with injuries. Um, to be fair, he really has. Of course, in the last game we got to do too bad with the wild cards. Well, happy Saturday. Everyone, so I did say that earlier. Anyway, I'll try not to do on the mic too much. Part one Perisic, Kyle Walker, Peters, or Paqueta? Kyle Walker, Peters, or Paqueta? That's what I have to. Lloyd, why would you? Perisic away to Arsenal. Yeah. Put Haaland as captain. They are playing, you know, they, they are, but United's defence is still not great, to, uh, to be fair. I know they won their last four, but. Yeah, but they're not going to win the league. Yeah, but they're not going to win the league. 
They won't be Man City. They won't. Uh, well, again, like I think Pope is better than double Leicester defence as long as you don't need the money. So, do you need that money? If not, get Pope. Paris is going to assist? Maybe. Maybe. Um, Zaha assist the Oh my god. Uh-huh. Zaha a guess Come. for this week? I don't really like any of those options though. My plan has always been De Bruyne they to sign have in. Now he's a coach. So I hold De Bruyne now and transfer him to the best. Office. Yeah, you probably should do it right back instead. And just captain Harden. Partnership. Mention Chenko or Perisic. It's Ferdinand and Vinic. I agree. With, I agree with Ferdinand and Vinic, but I'm kind of drawn towards him. Uh, not now. I feel like they both can not see now. Perisic is more likely to get you an attacker return. Oh, I don't know why I do that. I'd probably play Perisic. I think I'd be close on that, though. I'm going to captain Salah, to be honest. I'm uh, I'm not really I'm not really 100% Jesus, sure Jones is 3.9. Yeah, hell. I want him right now, but that could easily change. I, I've got... The thing that's worrying me about captain and Salah, honestly, and it shouldn't be, is the fact Just that he's going to be 3 o'clock. And if that doesn't go... Way matches we haven't been that great. wait till tomorrow. To not only probably watch Man United lose, but I know we picked up two clean sheets away yeah, in a row, right. but part of me wants to go for Salah because it's different. It's almost like doubling down. They won't. Man City Man, 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 will punish them. The price of Fenerman is so far right now. I think Zuma's well, to be to be fair, I, I know me United fan, Zuma's but I'm saying what I what I'm saying, like. Try building a premium of Harden, Kane, and Salah. Nah, I'm, I'm still not confident. Every year we're playing Manchester City, I am not confident. So foul. The only game we haven't scored was a 4 0 defeat away at Perfect. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still not confident. On my night just yet. With Jesus to Tony for a minus four, no, probably not. Is no tricker on gaming nine wild card risky? Uh, no, I, no, I got to be honest. Like, there's a few. You're going to see a very big ten play on the wild card. I think Zaha, Madison, Salah, um, and Martinelli for sure. Haaland probably mixed with it's James, uh, and then and then James, and then you're going to see some with Trent, some with Cancelo, some so with Cancelo, one, the other. Some will have Trippier, some won't. So Trippier is going to be in a lot of teams. He's not necessarily going to be in every team. So I wouldn't say it's risky. Like he plays, he plays. Hopefully, plays Mitrovic this week. You got Man United and Spurs to come soon as well. Um, but obviously, like obviously, he's a good option. He is just a good option. But I wouldn't say it's risky. Yeah. So the last game week, I got sixty-four points. But uh, to be fair, I take it. My well, defence wasn't too far apart from the keeper, Pope. Uh, if, I, if I had five, I'd start Ward this week. Bench one. Bench Why one. Why are they Justin Zaha, Captain Harlan or Salah? Yeah, I, I'm on the Salah captain, but I think I'm probably going to switch to Harlan. I'm, not, I'm not sure. It's very close. He could, he could switch to captain to Harlan, but it's very close. I know how ridiculous Harlan's been so far. I think Salah's a... That was a bit of a differential, right, against a team with a new manager. I don't think they're going to suddenly be really bad, Brighton. But Salah's had a bit of a rest. Liverpool have had a rest. They've been playing game week i I'm tempted to just go with it in a week where it's close. I think it would be harsh if you captain Salah. This yeah, like I captain Salah against uh, uh, Bournemouth, and he blanked. I am slightly worried about. I know, like I don't, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care who who blanks. It it is what it is. I think Arvin Martinez is a pretty good. To be honest, uh, to be honest with you, I, I want to, I want to, I want to hope that I will captain Salah by the deadline, but I might get last minute panic. To be honest, no, but I get last minute panic. I'm yeah, confident in Haaland. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, best captain this week, Haaland. Jesus, Haaland. The only game Haaland hasn't scored at home was against Barrow, but he still got return. He got the assist in that game. But Man City have scored every game. Uh, it's not great for game as well. 
It is a problem. It is a problem. Yeah, you might have played him with Ajax, but playing him in that Man United team, I'm just hoping that Rashford's fit enough to play. Anthony, obviously, maybe Martial plays a part of Sancho. I'm hoping. Yeah, the only game he didn't score was against uh, Bournemouth. God, I hate playing Ajax. Well, he's had every single return. Um, I'm on a card. Thoughts on going Kepa and his price went up again this week. Ward is an okay backup with good fixtures. So, in theory, Kepa and Ward is a nice idea. I guess the question is, what if next week Mendy is number one, and then Rogers finally makes Everson first choice? What I will say is. Leicester have conceded what, like 22 goals or something? Yeah, like uh, Ward, the Leicester keeper, is the 21st best goalkeeper, which is very, very bad. If Leicester lose to Daniel Farris this Monday, Rogers is gone. And the story. If Kep is dropped for Mendy and Ward's dropped for Everson, you then force them to a goalkeeper transfer. And that's the truth, like. I prefer not to have to do that, I think. I feel no one needs to cancel the losses in the not the forest. <laughs> but I think I think Haaland will get ninety minutes to tomorrow. Great, well it depends on yeah. depending on the game. Haaland yeah, right, gets too high and it's a straight red out from the dark half of Martin. Martin is just gonna be like trying to try to frustrate him, but yeah. Gotta check on Twitter. See what other managers. I didn't, I didn't even see my tweet this morning about Salah drop, uh, Salah being dropped. Uh, no, I said Salah, Salah finally dropped or something like that. And what? I, I did it like first thing, so I didn't even really. Think Salah could be dropped. Well, I don't think he will get dropped. I'll be surprised. Price, as I said, dropped last night. I'm not even sure Sinatera is definitely the best midfield, but he, he looks exciting. Sounds like Sinatera, yeah. There was quite a few replies, yeah. And I think I didn't do it on purpose. That's why I reframed. Well, dropped the price. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mess around like that. It's just annoying. Uh, if Mitrovic really is essential, as people say, no, he's not essential. Just a lot of people got him cheap. Right, got yeah, pretty much from now until game of 16. You know he's going to start as long as he's fit. You know he's going to play 90 minutes. You know he's on penalty. Just all that kind of stuff. Lee. Um, thoughts on trivia games? Lee's Lee Captain Harland. Um, one one half of uh, FPL family. I know, I know Trent's got to play Man City and Arsenal, but I'm not fully convinced that trivia is definitely better. What? So I think I would just get Trent. Well, he's put, I, think I'm going, I think I'm going to change goalkeeper. To be honest with you, I think I'm going to put the Leicester keeper in goal. Um, I think I'm going. I think I'm going to do it now. Uh, I put Pope on the bench. West Ham. Who West Ham got again? Keep forgetting. That could happen. I think I'm going to do it now. I feel like it's always trying to be a bit too smart. I do it now. Yeah. Of course, it's um, put him away. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I've done it. I don't know. Do it. Yeah, I've already done it. So, Ederson is starting for me at the moment. If if he starts on Monday. Perisic to Trent for a hit out of exact funds. Uh, I can see for, I can see Fulham scoring, but I can also see Newcastle scoring as well. Ward or Pipe, who would you start? I think I would... I think I'd probably start Pope. Um, he's been. I feel like if you ever get start bench. Ward, then it's not in the forest. Um, yeah, but um, I just changed. I just ch- changed it just now. So Pope is now on my bench at the moment because I just changed it just now. Bench trippier for so far to maximize my mitchell return. Yeah, what I mean, a bunt like I mean, this is a crazy option. Eddie, 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 anything can happen to me. I've seen him. Um, I think I'd probably start Pope. Yeah, I think I'd probably start Pope. Yeah, I think I'd probably start Pope. Yeah, I think I'
Hello? We bet we bet this is not great this week. But it is what it is. Like and so far I've conceded. Is that completely out of the question? No, I don't it is what it is. Um, I made too many mistakes this year, so it's worth it. It's worth a risk. To, to be honest, did you cause anything could happen one week and? Like in a real way, but you can change any captain. Trippier, Cancelo, and James. Oh, 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 he got Wilfred Tahan. It is, with a budget of 4.5. Wow. Probably Gay. Probably who I'll go for 4.3, save a bit of money. Got some pretty good fixtures coming up. Kind of the to Zaha and wait until next year. I'd wait. She's put. So far, assessing on Zaha. Hala, this captain. Probably seven so far. I think that's pretty easy. Um, Tuckles, thoughts on minus four Isaac to Tony and De Bruyne to Salah? I have double new house friends and have to pay Andreas for the Tony Salah to Isaac. I mean, to be honest, I, I, of course, Aha I went up a price this Bruyne week. He's seven point three now. I guess this is one of the reasons why plan transfers don't always work. But it's still a bit harsh to get a training injury on Isaac, right? I'd probably just do Isaac to Tony for free, keep De Bruyne out, and just captain Harley. Think, unless you really want to. The only reason I would do De Bruyne to Salah for a hit is if you're really sure that Salah outscores Harley. Josh, thank you. Max, thank you. Uh, Lee, Isaac to Tony for a minus four. Playing. Yeah, I, I, Isaac to Tony for a minus four is okay. I guess they're playing Bournemouth, so I can see why people want to do it. But I think if you've got a good bench option, you can just play them instead. Well, FPL, Polk could be playing the Ederson as well, like myself. He's very cheap. Pretty cheap as well, 3.9 now. Um, Which is good. I, I think long... <sighs> I think Kane and Zaha is better for the next three weeks, but I think long term you'll want that premium midfielder spot instead. So I guess it depends how many transfers you've got planned in the future. I think Kane and Zaha for the next three. What? Son, no way, Nathan Baker could be getting rid of Salah. Best, like, no spot. way. And I think we'll want to switch Son to Salah at some point. No way. Can I think that way? Bench Marcelli or Trippier? Uh, Trippier, I think. De Bruyne to Salah for a minus four. Yeah, no, I just answered that. I just answered that. I, I probably wouldn't do it in most cases. He probably won't do it in most cases. Trent and Solanke or Matip and Tony. Mm, probably Trent and Solanke in that case. Play Zaha or Andreas. Uh, answer on the screen. Andreas, Bailey. Answer on the fan. screen. Oh, Bailey. West Ham fan here. So far, it's absolutely rubbish. Kara, I don't know how you pronounce that. I should really look it up. Um, he should really look it up. I mean, if I was buying a West Ham player, I would just get Zuma. Yeah, that's uh, who I have. Zuma. I love Zuma. I don't know why. I don't know why. I guess there is a slight worry in the bench. Check on Instagram. Kane was third in game 12 to Salah and Jesus thought. Well, Jesus isn't playing in game 12, so I'm not sure about that. Maybe if you can bench him, it could be okay. I'd worry about that in game 12. Look back from injury listed on Brentford website as a forward, but listed as a defender on FPL. You, I think you've asked me about Sergi Canos before this season, haven't you? I mean, he's only just back from injury, so is he definitely going yeah, to start? Yeah, that must be Sam's team. On fantasy football scale. Um, he has predicted him not to start. Probably, team, probably she's got Ederson and goal. Cancelo, Trippier. Uh, James, midfield, Diaz. The rumors Diaz might not be starting for Liverpool. Uh, Madison, Pereira, Aronson, Captain Haaland, Jesus, and Vice Captain Harry Kane. And roll or bring in Zaha or Barnes, can get some Madison. I'd probably just start one of Harrison Bailey. Probably Harrison. I think it's Captain Madison over Harlan worth the risk. Not, not for me. No. I, I, nah. Nah.
I was laughing a few weeks ago when I brought Swanky and now he's the hot topic. Um, he laughed at him being brought in now, to be honest. I actually looked at Solanke as well. Do you remember a few weeks ago when I got gross? I, I considered very briefly Solanke. And in the end, that would have worked out better. But Harlem wrecked this match. I, I think there's almost 0% chance that Harlem is rested before May and I home. Like, almost 0%. Zero. Zero. No, he won't, he won't get a rest. I'd be surprised. Won't get a rest against May and I. I'd be surprised. People looking at Cresswell. How much is he? Like, is he not closer to five? Four point eight. Less than zero, yeah, quite possibly. I haven't still got Sal- Salah. I've just got Salah back. Yeah, no, Harlan's going to want to score against Man United, but I think that would happen regardless of who he's batting. Yeah. Should I start Saliba or Andreas? Uh, I'd maybe start Andreas in that situation. I could check the teams. We took the 5 tail when Solanke scored a race. I mean, yeah, maybe he has. Maybe he will have. I'd not. I'd love nothing more than Solanke scoring this week. Nothing more than Solanke scoring. It would be amazing. Solanke scoring. Corsair. The last game week, Mitrovic. Uh, even though Fulham scored three, three kick quick goals, but Mitrovic didn't get any returns. The last game week. Which it, it is what it is. Chase price rises didn't work out. Lost 0.2. How did you do that? Question set. Uh, Trippier might not be playing. <clears throat> Thomas Parenti might not be playing. And the Tottenham goalkeeper might not be playing. Um, but of course, Cresswell see how they get on. Like. Should be playing Emerson, but Moyes is too savage. Yeah, I don't think going for Cresswell or Emerson is, is great, to be honest. <clears throat> Bar with an. Bradford have no uh, interest. If you're going for a West Ham defender, I don't know why it's not Zuma. Zuma's the one to get, in my opinion. He's the only one you can be pretty sure of starts every week. And he's also got pretty good goal for it. But I know you, I know Rumors Pickford right? could be back. Everton. Have to bring for Everton. Into FPL. If we're talking solely on FPL, Zuma is the best option. For my Everton opinion. so many injuries. Savage, penalty, that would be nice. Especially at the back. Thank you very much. Is that, so you can, um, is that so you can get highlighted as your Solanke propaganda? If so, I like it. If Slanky had, if Maynard had an easier fixtures, who would be your number one pick? Dallow, Rashford, Fernandez. I mean, probably Dallow or, or Rashford. Even one there is so far cheaper. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, I think there is a genuine. Um, Mitchell Richards already played. Questions oh. about Wilson. Will he play or not, Luke? Well, he's fully fit. Could happen. Oh, Wolf Eric could be making the save you, Gomez. Oh, because your man, um, I think there's a chance Ratchet starts. Nathan Collins can't no, play because he got red card in the last game against uh, Man City. Uh, a straight red card. He's returned from the good stadium. Returned to training. The last game. Assessed. Uh, uh, it's a start on the planet. I think if he's any close to fitness, he'll start. Wilbur's Rashford might not be playing against City tomorrow. Slanky ownership on FPM, I'm sorry, about 87%. Honestly, I, I, I might just, actually, I won't because I find it so difficult to do it, but I'd love to just stay off Twitter later because you're going to get all of the... Maguire's out anyway. Tomorrow. And everyone that did go for him is going to be like, yeah, we know he's rubbish. That's not why we, we didn't really buy him because we expected goals every single week. Then again, if he does score, I will find it hard to resist not tweeting as well. So, you know, you got to could be out for Leicester. Team. 
fingers crossed, though. Fingers crossed. Nathan, good morning. Who the captain Check who played against Bradford. Are you there? Salah. I, I really, I really don't like Madison captain over Harlan. I just, I, I think that's Matt. Like, I, I'm not even sure about Salah captain over Harlan, but Madison, that is for me massive overthinking. I think. Martinelli going four three three. I got no interest in dropping Martinelli really. I think um, I got value yeah. tied up in him. What, I don't think he's going to be well? priced by a huge man unless he gets injured, in which case I'll sell him. You know, yes, the next two fixtures are not great. So I can bench him in twelve and thirteen onwards. He's got leads away as well. It's worth saying. Smith Rowe is out until like World Cup time, so Martinelli's minutes are really good as well. Um, yeah. Webster or Maguire did play, it's on the chart. Uh, well, if I had both this week, I'd play. Well, depends what you need them for. Like, if you need them for game week 12, you go Webster. If you don't, I think, I think West Ham have got better fixtures from now until 16 than, than Brighton. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rune, you're captain in Solanke, I hope. <laughs> I hope so. I hope um, so. Honestly, what, all I would say Arsenal is don't, every game. Everson, don't get them expecting clean sheets. Expect nothing. Yeah. If they get something, be happy. It's all my thing. Ken loves a goal against Arsenal. I'm pretty sure I saw, right? Plant, James, make sure you follow James, Planet FPL. I think he put a tweet saying Kane has only scored one non penalty goal away to Arsenal in wow. seven years. Yeah, here we go. Harry Kane has only ever scored one non-penalty goal at the Emirates, and that was seven years ago. Seven years! Wow! At the Emirates? And maybe he's got, he might have a good... He might have a good... Um, he might... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he dropped something, did Andy? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's got a good point. Jesus. If Fulham beat Newcastle today and Brighton lose, Fulham could be fourth in the Premier League today. How mad would that be if Fulham beat Newcastle today? They'd be fourth in the Premier League if Brighton lose at Anfield. Yeah, so do I, but he's been disappointed this season. Well, well, yeah. Um, he has got with hers, but Chelsea don't get keep clean sheets. To rotate through games twelve and Guaita out. No, I, I wouldn't. If you're going to sell Guaita, I would just put pick for the Bengals. Should I go Tony or Trent? It's up, it's up to you, really. It's up to you. Um, I, I think I think most people are going to want Trent after game week twelve. So if you're not going to have many transfers to deal with that later, I would just get him now. That's how I'd be thinking about it. Would you start Perisic or Gordon? Uh, Everton have got. Why can't I remember who? Everton have got. Away to Southampton. Away to Southampton. That's right. Yeah. They're all the mighty Ward. Probably Ward. <laughs> Probably Ward. And hope for the best. Yeah, I like yourself. Hope for the team. best. Um, when's the reveal? Reveal will be on the deadline. Uh, Saka and Kane to Salah and Tony for a minus four. If Could be okay. Player, you can probably justify it. Start Perisic, Trippier, or Andreas Trippier. What's your World Cup prediction? Will you be watching every game? Uh, I'll probably watch most games. I don't know about every single yeah, game. Yeah, I don't think I'll be watching every single game with football, football matches and training. Go to the distant job, right? I want my videos and I can just go and watch football. Yeah, it doesn't happen that, that way. Matches on during the day. Unfortunately. Uh, my World Cup prediction is that England are going to win it. England are going to win it. What? No. Of course. I would love England to win a pop. Not the faith. I'm nah. Completely down on South Korea. Nah, I don't think so. They might uh, get out of their group. I haven't started hiding my team. No, no, I, I've kind of ignored all this so far. But I, I did the team reveal thing for game week one when we had unlimited transfers. I'm doing it again because it's a wild card, and I'll do it again for the unlimited transfers on the World Cup. I think I like I've I've already talked loads about all the picks that I'm considering. Uh, in all the videos, right? You've seen my team selection video. It'll probably be one of those teams. So after that, like, you can make your own choice, right? This, this is what people don't realize. It's always coming. This back. is what people don't even realize. Still be coming home. Even if you do awful, it's still coming home. Like myself. Answer the super chat about 
Wait, start you with. That's good chat. No, I would play Pope over Emerson, I think. Bailey's still a good cheap option. Yeah. We're reading your team off deadline. Respect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, dudes, dudes. You, honestly, I keep seeing you in the comments. You just complain. Why you put Madness in the scout on? What is wrong with you? If you don't like it, don't watch. Honestly. <clears throat> You don't like it, don't watch. Settle the ultimate debate, Messi or Ronaldo. I mean, it, it's pretty clear it's Messi. Right? I don't think it really is a debate. Yeah. Danny Ward has hypnotised Brendan Rodgers. Man, so this captain. Ward started every game pretty much. Maybe on Martelli this week, Martelli. Slabberful. <laughs> now, I, I need to put this in the ticker, right? I, uh, I'm going to put this in the ticker. I wouldn't... Captain Madison over Harland or Salah. I'm putting in the ticker. Lots of people are asking about Madison captain. <clears throat> you, okay, if you've got no Salah or Harland, then maybe you can make a case for captain in Madison, but I wouldn't do it over over the rest. <clears throat> I, I don't care if, if uh, Ronaldo fanboys come and. Um, have a pop to be honest. I think uh, I think it's Messi. Like, yeah, just Messi can do things no one else can do. Ronaldo scored a lot of goals. Right? And don't get me wrong, that longevity. Don't get me wrong. He scored that many goals is amazing. He is one of the best players of all time. But it's, it's nothing on Messi. Nothing on Messi. I'm pretty sure Messi's goal scoring record is pretty much as good as Ronaldo's, right? Is it not pretty much as good? Time's getting to Messi and Ronaldo. Why did you do this to me? Madison's not on penalties for Leicester. Oh, more non-penalty goals. There we go. Sorry. Yeah. Then again, like being good at penalties is a skill. To be fair. The silver Andreas just for this week. Always, always Andreas is going to be still. I think. <laughs> and you were seeing something recently about his goals, so it must have been non-penalty. Anyway, anyway, I'm getting off. I'm getting off Messi Ronaldo because he could be here till the deadline. That wouldn't be good. Could be here um, to the deadline. Do you think KDB will be benched for Southampton? He's due for a rest after playing every recent game City in Belgium. He could have Could happen. Nine days. It's possible, but I wouldn't kind of overthink it too much. To be honest, if you've got De Bruyne for Southampton, it's a pretty good fixture. I mean, they're playing this week. Oh, they've got um, they got Champions League, haven't they? Champions League must be back this week, I assume. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Play Man United. The thing is, it's possible. But they're playing Copenhagen in the Champions League. That's got to be one of the easiest games in the Champions League group stages. And it's a home. So you can arrest him if you do it that game, or at least bring him off early. Man, a minute. He's got the back door for me now. He might. And then another 32 minutes of the he deadline closes. He's mm, a doubt, I would say. I, I wonder if Neil's going to start. He's got Jota starting. The thing is, Diaz just seems to be one of those players that's always fit and ready to go. Always fit and ready to go. If I had Diaz, I'd probably play him. But I guess there is a little bit of worry. Yeah. Copenhagen is a top Scandinavian team. Yeah, maybe so, but they're not any competition for Man City, let's be honest. And also, aren't they like, hang on. Uh, they're ninth in the Danish Superliga. I don't know no why. Copenhagen are ninth in the no Danish Superliga. Out of 12 teams. No way! Man City are the best team in the Premier League. I, I, like, I think they're going to be okay. Click this if Copenhagen beat Man City, but I think there's every chance the Bruyne could get arrested in that game. Yeah. No way, Knight! How much do I make on team value? Um, I mean, Salah dropped. I think Trent dropped as well. Not too much, really. I think I got on... As, as, as Madison and Zaha gone up in price, I think I've got on them. But not a lot, really, to be honest. But like, that's always the case. You don't make it much. It's always the case. You know, really the <clears throat> Who scores more in the next four? Trent Solanke. Oh, or scores more goals <laughs> or more points? Points, probably Trent. Goals and goals, Solanke. 
They did an ex live stream of David Jackson. I can't do it. Why, you know, Super Liga? Why are they? I, thought, I don't even know what accent I was trying to do. He was trying to do? How did I confirm Trent was in the team? Ward Trent's 19 Unison Trippier game. Trippier, I can't afford that. Just so you know. I'm close to being able to afford that. I'm very close with the salary. Very board. close. You were super fast salary on your team last night. Should have put him in this morning. The player had no chance to go down. Amateur. Lloyd, goodbye. You're blocked. I did put Oh, he's blocked, Lloyd. Lloyd, goodbye. You're blocked. Uh, I have to play one for my bench due to Isa. Who would you do? Andreas and Nico Williams. Andreas, I think. The thing is, like, Leicester have been bad, but I expect them to score as well. Yeah. Leicester are being bad. He's gone. Man, calling me an amateur. Calling me an amateur. I mean, I am an amateur, but I didn't do that with Sal. I got him in this morning. Yeah. yeah. The amateur. Um, the boy or Son. I think I'll go Son. I think. I think the boy, the boy is definitely better for like the next. But maybe you could captain Son on 11. I don't know, it's close. Close. The QSF remains out, and Son's sort of minutes are much better as well. I clicked your Copenhagen prediction. Watch the Borina score an own goal. Hat trick is Copenhagen snails to victory. It could happen. I hope it happens. I'd love to see Man City lose in the Champions League, but um, I think it's very unlikely. But Rashford or Bowen? Uh, Bowen. Bowen. Can you finish now? Would you take it? No. No. Best two defenders in game week 12 for max 8.5 million. 8.5? That means you've got 4.25 million to spend. So probably wow. Nico Williams and Gay. Does that work? Wow. Yeah, I, I, Sterling's good. I just think he's an awkward price. And I don't think he's worth fitting in. That's my general opinion of Sterling. I think for Sterling to work, you need an injury to one of the two main premiums. In my eyes, that's Salah and Haaland. And then you can maybe get him. Uh, Marseille to Madison. I have Jesus and Salah for two. Move out an Arsenal player. I'd probably move Jesus out. Move right? Jesus. Madison is good. But I don't mind it. Thoughts on Vardy, two week punt for Mitrovic, got decent team value, so I don't sacrifice too much. Mitrovic back in his 11th to 4, refused to manage to get down, so I don't mind playing for game 13. Yeah, I think there's a good chance that Vardy starts this week, but is he definitely going to start the game after? I mean, I guess he's had a bit of a break now with no international football. That's true. Um, no break with no international I mean, football. He's not going to home form with Wade. If you're going to punt on Vardy, yeah, sure, gonna... why not? Why not? I do think Mitrovic is good for the next season. Going to do what he can't do. My team. Oh, Gordon, I don't want to do that. I don't think you will do that. Nice season, but you have to quit YouTube when you take it. No. 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 Because then, like, what would I do? What would I do about YouTube? What does he do about YouTube? Cut our pay. <clears throat> spider face, spider face. Part one, Saliba, Neto, or Andrew. I don't even know. Oh, Neto's got West Ham away, any? I'm trying to remember. I can't remember. Saliba, Neto, or Andrew. I mean, that's a horrible choice. That's a horrible choice. I, I, I'd always be tempted to go Saliba. Saliba's against oh, Spurs at home in, for Newcastle. I'd probably go Andreas, I think. Mm 
Yeah. Gordon is one yellow off the suspension. Worth knowing. Worth knowing. Worth knowing. Especially when we come out to a blank. That would be annoying if you missed out that week. James Justin or Wilfred Zaha? Zaha for sure. Do I start Ramsdale or Ward? I'd probably just start Ward. Don't forget to give the stream a like, by the way, if you're enjoying it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new around Don't here. Don't forget to stream. Why not? Why not? I, I don't think... Um, I don't think that Brighton is suddenly going to be a bad team and that should make yeah, it. Yeah, so, um, I just think he's a good option anyway. Hey, like, from Barcelona, how, 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 how you doing? Are you well? I don't need to be a massive one this week. I've got Mendy on the um, no free chance. How are you getting on, how are you getting on this season in your fancy? Your, 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 yourself? Barcelona, wow. Welcome to the TikTok deadline stream for Game Week 9. Wow. Good. Good, me. Love that. Lives. You're very welcome. Just want to do me. Classic. Classic. Uh, Isaac Alvarez minus four to seven. Oh, Johnny's live now. Favorite to Henry. Uh, Tony Omitrovich for Jesus for a minus four. I, I probably wouldn't take a minus four. Uh, I'd probably go Mitrovich if I was going to have to do it. A wild card, Solo De Bruyne switching to Salah game week twelve. I'm going to. I said I, I Salah earlier, but I'm not sure. He's not sure. I guess I guess one thing I forgot with Son is if, if everyone's fit, he needs a little bit of a minute for it now. With the boy now, maybe not so much, apart from rest. I'd probably go the boy now. I'm not. I, I don't know. I, I feel like you've probably got to prioritise the shorter term fixtures, so probably the boy now. Guaita and Justin or Ray and Gay. Well, Ray and Gay is probably two better defences. Zaha or Zuma, Zaha. I would bench Zaha for this week, to be honest with you. Team news whatsoever, so for anyone looking for Arsenal team news. You're not going to get team news? I'll quickly check, just in case I've had a message. Until, until half eleven? No, oh, I have had a message. Uh, so not, not so many to the mouth. FPL team is in the break. Right, when do I when do I have a last minute? That's all that's good, good to see. Looking at my team now, thinking, am I definitely okay with it? Am I definitely okay with it? Uh, Is he okay with it? Yeah. Don't know. He doesn't know. know. Check who do I have? Replace. Oh, he doesn't know. Well, I can't reveal any of the team because I might change it. And I don't want to reveal it and then change it. The, the players I've hidden are the ones I'm least sure about, essentially. Apart from two of them. Two of them are dead set on. Um... Kukurea substitutes James if you can afford it. Then it really depends like wh how often you need to play them. I don't mind Zuma at 4.5. Emerson and S Sinister and Walker. I wouldn't go for Emerson. Sinister okay. maybe. Luis Diaz for captain instead of Haaland. No, definitely. 100% I would not captain Diaz oh, instead of Haaland this week. Hey guys, thank you very much. The worst thing is... 
Um, yeah, Fallen, yeah. The, uh, the worst thing is, the stuff I'm struggling with, I've been struggling with all international breaks. Reshane's the bad pick. Reshane's like one of the most assured players on my wild card. To start Zaha or my family, that's that's tight. I'm gonna say Zaha. I think I don't think there's much in it. I might. I didn't skip it. Saka and Kane, Salah and Tony. I, I answered it. The boy for the next two weeks or swap for Salah now. Uh, I'll probably just swap for Salah. I think. I don't know who needs to hear this. Nobody needs to hear this. 20 minutes to the deadline closes. The selectors now. Well, wild card 13, Solanko, uh, Solanke over Mitrovic for four game weeks. You probably wouldn't do that, personally. We'll actually captain Mitro over Salah this week. No press. God, so I didn't need Salah to score at 3 o'clock today. If he could just score at like 3.02 p.m., that would make me a lot happier. <laughs> well, not even, a little bit more relaxed, not happier, just relaxed. Oh, my local for Get something off my team. It's always difficult, isn't it? It's always difficult, Marco. Always. Why Wildcard is ignoring Sol? Pretty obviously scoring today. Knows the best captain in the game is Levin, but he's not better than Salah right now, right? What is the Arsenal game? Oh, it's the first game today, Arsenal as well. That's right, yeah. We've got 18 minutes left. Who knows? I feel like the stress will kick in in about 10 minutes. It's very stressful playing a wild card decision for decisions, definitely. If you're in the top 10k, who would you captain? I'd like to think that if I was in the top 10k, it wouldn't matter, but maybe I would slightly go for hard. I don't know. I was watching earlier, thought you were advocating Harlan captain, got on a bus, and now Salah captain. What happened? I've had Salah captain the whole stream. I just said that I might switch back to Harlan. The risk to reward ratio isn't there for Salah captain. That is that is what I'm basically not sure about. Close, do I really want to risk losing more rank to Harlem? Like, yeah, it's just annoying. I, I do I, like I said, I do think it's gonna be very harsh if Salah gets out of score by like ten points again. <laughs> How bad is it if I captain Kane over Harden, especially as a Man United fan? I don't want to captain Harden, no one I regret. It's not bad, but I don't think Kane's a great captain, so I would just go Harden. Forget about, try and forget about like real life stuff. He, he happy. He scores, you, you may be not happy, but at least you're not going to have to be out for Don't you always say pick the one you think will score the most points? Yeah, of course, of course, that's what you should do, but like, you know, sometimes emotion and, and stuff takes over, you know? That's fine. We're all human. You're all human. People can play this game without emotion. That, that's probably the best way to do it, right? To not have this worry. Like, there's some people that will just think, no, he's the best captain, definitely. I'm not even thinking about it. Whereas for me, it's like, oh, I'm not sure. The Liverpool team needs to be honest, so no. Um, uh, fixtures. Basically. Oh, things to go. I could I could get such a big red arrow this week. I'm really not looking forward to it. 
Oh, I always, this is the thing, like, I'm glad to see you stressed, like, as mere mortals. Of course I'd be like, I'm, like, I'm just an idiot with an FBL chat. I'm team. building for the FBL manager. I always say that people think... Yeah, I'm know, already paying for a team, Callum. Yeah, I'm just really busy. busy. Look at it, my team. And I'm genuinely not, not 100% sure. I, I... Do, 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 do,
the Sinistera base is the new Rafinha at Leeds. I don't know. Like, I think we've, we've kind of dubbed him with that. I don't know if he will be. How many minutes? I think so expensive. Ten minutes to go. To the deadline. The only good cost might be an option at some point, but I just worry about his fitness right now. Yeah. Yeah, start this week. Perisic, Emerson, West Ham 1 or Andreas? Uh, probably start Perisic, I think. Isaac out, Slanky minus 4 or play Burn, Pereira, Owen, Trippier. Probably play Andreas. What do you think of having Chilwell in the game? The dad, mate, I, got, I wouldn't do that. Like Chil- James is pretty much nailed. Chilwell's just not. Start to Perisic, Zaha, Bailey, Zaha. Zaha. I'll probably start both Zahas. <clears throat> North London uh, lineups we're in, are they? I'm guessing Harry Kane's starting. Always. Always look on the bright no, side of the life. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going Why like isn't I don't want to reveal a player that changes something like that. I'll get more ones to annoy people than I think. He would have played again. Man City. He's still suspended. Keep the S for this week, then swap to Zaha next week. Um, I would probably, yeah. I mean, if you if you if you switch just for a transfer instead of a wild card, yeah. Uh, I got no no team news whatsoever. I've not seen anything to be honest. I don't I don't usually get like Arsenal or whatever. Eight minutes to go to the deadline closes. Mind the house. Thank you very much for coming under. Trent or Trippier? Trent or Trippier? Uh, I mean, I, I prefer Trent over Trippier. I've said that all along. Probably Gay over Justin. Kieran, thank you for coming under. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Up the hoops. Uh, absolutely. Um, no. Zaha and Wilson or Marcelino. No, he's not in the fancy game at the moment. Zaha and Marcelino and Tony, probably. Oh, and Tony. A little bit priced out, I would say. That's annoying. White or Ray? I think I'd slightly lean towards Ray at this point. <laughs> Do you have your pop punk playlist for these tens last night's season? Something like that, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I just I don't know about Trippier. I just don't know about Trippier. What if I do? I guess. I guess the question is: Do I really want to? What the hell? What oh, the hell? Do I really want to uh, leave myself with transfers to make? That's a big or transfers to make. I'm just running it through the plan now to see. Mm. So, before I go, 
Five minutes to go to the deadline. Toby Team is in. Ederson and goal. Uh, defense, Silma, Cancelo, Trippier. My vice captain, Madison. Uh, more proud, James Rock Prowse. Martelli, Phil Foden. Um, my Royal forwards Royal are Harry Kane, Ryan, Richard Rich, and my captain is Haaland. He benches Pope, Pereira, Williams, and the guy who's injured. Patterson. Yeah. So that's me, team. It's like watching babes. Oh, he's oh, oh, he's oh, he's panicking. Oh, and he's panicking. On who to the side, like? Surely the South captain. I just like, I feel like if this was any other season, I would definitely go Salo, but like, Harlan's got me like messed up. Oh, Harlan's got me messed up. Harlan's got me messed up. Take the risk from Captain Salah. Should I though? Should I really? Why do I always leave it until the last minute to make these freaking decisions? These freaking decisions. Do 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 do. Wildcard, would you go Ward or Ederson as backup goalkeeper? Probably Ward, but it would depend on where the goalkeeper was. Go, his goalkeeper was. I'm going to go back to Salah. 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 Yeah, back again, sorry about that. At least it was I problems. Was cheap and just banking a load of money. Now people are changing goalkeepers. Oh my god, I'm all right. <clears throat> what if I need the money later on? But what am I going to need the money for? That's my what does problem. he need the money for, like? Kane. I've never had Kane. I don't know why people. You never had Kane. Son Salah minus four. I need to get a captain in. Most people became members like at the end of the stream. End of the stream. stream. Yeah. Oh, I hope, I wish, us, I wish everybody a best luck with game weekend nine. Hope it all go well with um, other managers with um, your, wild, your wild card and stuff like that. I hope it goes well for you uh, this week because time is going to run out. 35 seconds. Oh, screw it. All right, okay. Time is going to run out on me in a few minutes. Right. So I want to say best watch. luck to all the managers and um, I'm gonna regret and of course as always this. have 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 a, have a great weekend I'm gonna regret this. and have a, have a great weekend and it all sure uh, and I hope it all goes well for you oh, no no more comments because I'll be headed off.
I finally sold Salah and Trent this week. Wow. Yeah, so, wow, Kev. It's done. It's done. You can tell me next week, so I'm going to oh, love you, so leave you, so always choose, I'm choose, they never take it together, and I might not be live next week, we, uh, weekend, because the, the, right. the deadline closes, I, um, I think it's half one next Saturday, so I, so I might not be able, because I could have a match next weekend as well, so. So I'm going to love you, so leave you, so always choose, I'm choose, they never take it together, and have a great weekend, bye-bye.